morning guys and today we're here in airport yes so today we actually find to Boracay so it's a place a top bucket list destination that we've always wanted to go here in the Philippines and this time we get to travel with my parents so it's really interesting experience quickly give you guys a brief idea of what happened just then we came to the airport using a grab so it's very convenient and after that we tried to check in luggage everything was all good the luggage just then was exactly 20 kilograms so we booked two, uh, 40 kilograms in total so it was just right and we come for two hours earlier so now we just have a lot of time before we go to our plane as you see today the airport is completely packed yeah with lots of people in the background so the thing i want to say about airports here in the philippines is especially manila you always need to know exactly which gate you're going which terminal you're going sorry i mean which terminal you're going just because from one terminal to another terminal it's a rather far distance so you need to catch a taxi so they don't have buses yeah at most airports that we've been to around the world usually they will have like a train express train but here i don't have oh my goodness look how many people there are in front of us absolutely insane every seat in this airport has been taken luckily now we get four seats we can sit together now yeah crazy so many people in there today oh mm. We come to Cinnabon place to take some few Cinnabons and eat with Justin family. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I really love this place. So please see everything. A lot of people today. So we finally find one small table there. Uh, can I get one mini bon, one classic uh, cinnamon, and then one strawberry custard? For you, take away. For here, please. Oh, and three latte. Three latte. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Delivery. <laughs> This is your delivery. Uh, mini Cinnabon, strawberry with custard, and this is a classic Cinnabon. Thank you, waiter. This is your tip. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually Alina's favorite brand. Yeah. Yeah, it's warm. Usually when it's warm, when wind is good. Mm. Alright guys, so welcome to Boracay. Welcome, and we already arrived. Yes, and next few days we're gonna spend our time here in Boracay. It's actually a whole week here in Boracay, so we're gonna have a really relaxing section. This trip is just gonna show you the most beautiful parts of the Philippines. Yeah, we will have amazing experience here in Boracay with Justin family, because for me it's also first time meeting Justin Mama and Justin Mama partner. Yeah. So I hope it will be so cool. Alright, so because I guess we're in a tropical island, that's why the even baggage claim it's, it's quite unique so you can see lots of people are standing here waiting for the bags already uh, so they just drive one of these carts and pulling the luggage and just pass you over the luggage one by one like this okay let's take our luggage and after we can go to hotel okay yeah so interesting really first time seeing this in my life <laughs> so cute Yep, all these, yeah. So nice, don't have to hold it by ourselves. The hotel staff are actually very nice, so they come in and pick us up at the airport and they're carrying our bags, so it's really good. Since we started traveling together, many of you have been asking us how we save money in our travels. For example, how to find cheap deals or get better price in flight bookings, whether it's international, domestic, or hotels. If you ask me the same question when I first started traveling, I would tell you I open all the tabs on a browser and open every single airline website and compare the prices between different airlines, which is super time consuming and inefficient. Efficient. Which brings us to today's video sponsor, Kayak. We always try to look for cheap deals when possible and Kayak has some great deals. For example, we actually booked our trip to Hong Kong through Kayak. It was 7,000 pesos for return which is less than $150. Apart from the website, Kayak also has an app so I use that app more actually. So I'm gonna go to the Kayak app. I'm gonna screen record this so you can see this. And so if you've got a particular destination in mind, so if you want to go to Hong Kong, then you can just type it in here, so Manila to Hong Kong, and you choose a period of time that you want to travel to. So July to August, that sounds good. And then go to Kayak. So because Kayak is a meta search engine, so it will show you the whole list of flight details that you can choose from. But if you're like me and you usually want to go with the flow and you want to be spontaneous about your travels, you can also use Kayak's explore feature. If you've got a geography, you can probably go around the map and just see all the destinations that you want to go. So like if you want to see how much is going to I don't know, Europe maybe, 
then you can see the exact price here or if you're not good at geography then you can go to the list and you can just scroll through all the destinations and know the exact price in the period of time that you choose to travel so another thing I really like about the kayak app is the trips feature. The reason why is because very often when I arrive in the airport, sometimes I have to pick up my phone, scroll through all the emails to find the booking confirmation, show it to the airport staff, but you don't have to do that. So you can actually go to trips feature here. So in upcoming trip, we're actually going to Melbourne, Australia. So stay tuned for our Australian series. Here you can see the Melbourne trip. And then if you press on it, you can see all your flight details and booking confirmation. So it's a lot easier rather than scrolling through all the emails. If you're planning your next trip somewhere and want to save money, then check out Kayak to find great travel deals now. Let's see, really Boracay is so famous and why it's so famous. Wow. Oh, so listen. Wow, so beautiful. It's like a highway on the side of the ocean along the ocean so beautiful really beautiful weather so i hope the next few days will continue to be like this and in manila it rained the last few days but here in boracay the weather looks really nice so the ones in front here these ones are called tricycles so as you can see it's a motorbike on the left side and on the right side those ones are like a passenger cart No, I can see a lot of people actually. Uh, I don't know, but last time when the two of us got in, there was like, no, this is not two passengers, it is five people. Can be five, six. Can be five, six, ten, I don't know, people sit on the top. It's very interesting, when we purchased the airline tickets to Boracay, this airport is actually called, something called Malay Airport or something. So we thought we booked a wrong flight because it's to, well, it's Malaysia, like why is it Malaysia? But anyway, the airport, this area is actually called uh, Malay and this district name where the airport is called Katiklan and now from here to the main Boraka Island where all the resorts are located you need to take a ferry so that's why now we're heading to the port and I'm going to take a ferry to Boraka main island but first can I borrow your IDs please yes of course how was your flight yeah it was quite short felt like a yeah, very short flight how are you Amalina I'm good oh so, so windy so the best thing about staying with Coast is that you also get direct private transfer instead of taking the ferry. So you actually get one of these private speed boats that take you from the mainland of Malay directly to Boracay. So this is our speed boat. Can you arrive picture before we go inside the boat? Yeah. Maybe. Sounds good. Ready? One, two, three. Wait, oh. oui, thank you. Oh. Hello, Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hey, good afternoon. How are you? Hello. Ooh. Okay. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board at Coast MV, where you will be with directly from Katiklan to Costa Rica. <laughs> By the way, my name is Noor. Kidding aside seconds from now, you will be off to the beautiful island of Boracay. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Wow, wow. again, hot weather yeah. and beaches and palms, palm tree. Sunshine and vitamin D and coconuts, most importantly. Yes, give me more vitamin D. This is what you can expect if you come to tropical islands here in the Philippines, especially Boracay, the most beautiful and well renowned beaches in the Maldives. world. Maldives. Yeah, Maldives, they I'm say. It's like the, exactly. Blue water, white sand beach. This is what you can expect if you come to the Philippines. Good Hello, afternoon. good afternoon. You guys go first. So, uh, we have to walk from here. Yep. Jessica will be, will be assisting me going to the hotel. Hey. I'll take care of the bags. Sounds good, thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. Just a one minute walk. Though. Yep, no worries. So, just now on the way here, we actually came directly from the airport, as you can see. So, luckily, there is a private transfer and also there is a private vehicle transfer from. Uh, just then when we arrived the main broker island to the resort now so it makes it a lot more convenient oh. wow so beautiful so big waves how are we gonna swim <laughs> yeah 
Wow, guys, looks absolutely amazing here. I'm not gonna lie, just saying we're walking on a, at a corridor, the alley, I already saw the blue water. And this is what I call the Gatorade water. You know the drink, Gatorade? This is exactly the same color. Yeah. Oh my goodness, and the white sand beaches. Really, you can call this white sand. It's not like brown mix or whatever, it's white. I think this is probably the whitest sand and also the bluest water we've seen in the Philippines, actually. So this is the answer why everyone go to Boracay. Yeah, this is because exactly. This. I would say it's very developed here in Boracay just because they are designed specifically for tourists to visit. Just because every year, every month, every day, there's so many tourists around Boracay. It makes it a really ideal destination for tourists to travel to. So yeah, this trip, my goal is really because my mother, she's been watching every single YouTube video that we made. So I think she's been looking forward to it. She's been telling me that she wants to come to the Philippines. So finally, she's here. Welcome. Justin, welcome. Hey, thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Wow, we've got some cold towels. Welcoming drink. Hey, oh, this for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is this your first time? Yeah, first time Boraka. It looks amazing here. <laughs> yeah. But it's just windy right now. <laughs> Still good to swim in the ocean. So later it will be better, less windy. Do mm -hmm. you think so? Because right now it's the monsoon season here. Ah. In Paris, so sometimes it's windy, but there are days that it's actually calm. Yeah. The, the breeze and the sea is calm. Okay. So yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's better adapted. Hopefully. Yes, ready to see the room. All right, let's go. Wow. So far, I'm liking the design of this hotel. It's quite aesthetic, black and white. Great. This is your room Sounds good. I believe we have a ball completely for you. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Amazing. Wow. That's Welcome. amazing. Thank you. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. Oh, they need to. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? It's a connecting Wow. <laughs> It's so cool! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> this is the first time ever I see our photo on TV. I'm on TV, mom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, they said they said the hats, the slippers, they all for free, so you can actually bring it home. Sanitizer, maybe? Maybe it's a good smell? Yeah, sanitizer. It says sanitizer here. Yeah, it's good. So thoughtful. So now I give power to my professional room tour, Justin, to show you this. Are you guys ready? No, sorry. Are you guys ready? <laughs> All right, so here's a room tour in uh, Boracay. So this hotel name is called Coast. So you guys have been asking us a lot about like what kind of hotels we stay at when we go traveling. So this hotel is Coast. Let me give you guys a room tour. So this is our room for the next few nights. Betes, betes. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a big double bed here. So it's amazing. Betes. I think it's king size. One, two, three. Oi. <laughs> How's it? Oh, it's good. It's soft. That's good. It's not soft. soft bed. Enough soft. Approve? Approve. All right, that's good. And of course, on the left side here, we show you guys we, this uh, big TV. So they took a photo of us just then next to the ferry. So they got names here as well. It's absolutely amazing. All right, let's head into the toilet to see what's the deal about the bathroom. And spacious bathroom. That's my impression. Yeah, very spacious shower space as well. I will change now my old cap for my new cap. And it honestly looks looks nice. <laughs> looks nice. Yes. Ah. Do I look like anime character now? <laughs> yes. So we just came out from our hotel coast, so it's very cozy and now we're gonna go and get lunch. We're actually going to somewhere around the hotel just to see the restaurant options because our first time in Boracay. My ideal meal in Boracay on a tropical island, it's always coconut from the tree and then some really delicious seafood meals fresh off from the ocean. Has to be char grilled though, it's like char grilled, shrimp, grilled, squid, then that'll be perfect, it's amazing. So yeah, let's see. There are many restaurants, cafe options here, it seems like. We've also got some recommendations from some of our subscribers here in the Philippines. What do you two want to eat today? Anything? 
Any specific? Okay. Now it's lunch, right? Lunch or brunch? Uh, yeah. Lunch or uh, and then we'll have to sit for dinner later. Okay. So maybe anything, anything. maybe we can eat something lighter yeah, now, yeah, yeah, right. and then tonight we can have a big feast seafood yeah. dinner. Yeah, that'll be nice, like grilled. Yeah. yeah, I was telling them. I do dinner, seafood, coconut. Yes. We need to drink. Oh yeah, because we've got two bottles of wine. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's find some food to eat now and relax a bit. I think today is all about showing you guys the beauty of Boracay. Oh, if you guys first time in the Philippines, you need to try Andox, which is a famous place for uh, chicken, especially it's like Inaso chicken. If you can see the chickens spinning at the display window, already you become very appetized. You want to eat already. Come here, come to this window. I mean, just look at this. I mean, you know, I mean, oh my goodness. <laughs> eh, back to, back to, ah! Today is a really windy day, so it blew my hat off just then. But uh, yeah, they say now it's like a monsoon season, that's why it's a little bit windy. Oh, look at them. So cute. Yeah, a cute couple in front of us. Look at that. Alright, so after a bit of walking, we found our lunch. Technically, it's not lunch because it's 4 o'clock right now. So our food for today it's Cafe Maruja, which is one of the saved destinations I saved on my Google Maps. It's recommended by my subscribers here in the Philippines. So let's head in to see what the deal about it is. I think you're just gonna get something light. Hello, table four people, please. Okay, let's. Hola. After we sat down, we had a look at the food options and the menu itself looks pretty amazing. The food arrives fairly quickly, so we ordered a few dishes this time. The egg benedict, two fish and chips, and some grilled scallops. The benedict was a little hard, but overall the food and ambience here is great, so I recommend checking this place out if you're here in Boracay. After food, when I come to beach area, Mm. First time in a Boracay beach mm -hmm. and today a little bit windy so yep. we have a lot of waves. Yeah, I think to be honest this is like this strength of wind is actually great for surfing and also I guess sunset time now <laughs> Asian and people start running out. Yeah, people. Asian people start running out just because escaping from the sun. Now it's like a good time to walk around the beach. Now I see what it means Boracay. Means tourist. <laughs> tourist <yeah. laughs> I'm gonna try the water, test water. Refreshing, I guess. Yeah, refreshing. refreshing. It's not, warm? Not ice cold, not warm, but refreshing. It's like your beer just now. <laughs> cold like your beer. Not as cold. It's like after you drink it for a while, with that kind of temperature. Yeah, it's nice. Go. I'm okay. I'm okay. It looks a little bit cold. Wow, you're so beautiful in this camera. In real life too, I mean. In, in real life too. Ah, so bright. This, this side, this side, this side. Hey. Ah, so good hey. lighting now. Yeah, so bright here. Yeah. I cannot see nothing. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I look a bit homeless today. <laughs> it's going the opposite. Yeah. Considering the wind is blowing to us this way. Wow. He's really fast. Man, he's light maybe. He's, he's going the wrong way now. Oh, oh, oh. Surfing, surfing, surfing. Oh, so this is what he's been doing. No. Is it? No. He's been trying to surf like yeah, this. No. He is. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, he's been trying to surf. More information about Boracay. So this famous white beach that we're currently on stretches 4 kilometers long and is divided into 3 boat stations 1, 2, 3. According to our experience and research, Station 1 has the best and finest stretch of white sand in the entire island and it's also where most luxury resorts are found. It is also a quieter area compared to Station 2. Station 2 on the other hand is a convenient and busy area with lots of people where you can find the more and there are a collection of shops and restaurants. Lastly, Station 3 is a less crowded area compared to Station 2 where you can find cheaper resorts and comparatively it has more greeneries. This is what this trip is all about. Just like seeing my mom and her partner having a good time, enjoying nature and everything. Yeah, it's really 
it feels nice as a son to see like she's having a good time just taking a break away from the hustle and bustle back in Australia when she worked every day in front of a computer and now she gets to spend her holiday with her loved ones. As the night falls, we discovered something interesting on the beach. We found a woman who was sweeping the beach with a device, so out of curiosity, we went and talked to her. So just now the woman that you saw, she was kind of using like a metal detector swiping the floor. So that is actually his full-time job. So this job, basically, she's trying to find metal underneath the sand. Right. Is this your job? Mm -hmm. Yeah, only only this. Oh. Yeah, so basically she said one every or two times. Yeah, one or two months. times in three months you can find something valuable like a watch or ring and it could earn her up to nine thousand or ten thousand peso one time. But usually the most common metal that she can find under the sand will be small coins like one peso, like fifty peso, etc. And also I asked her what kind of things she finds here, yeah, the most expensive things, mm -hmm. and she said it's a rings. Mm. So technically, people just come here swimming, lose something uh, so expensive, yep. and she find it. Uh, yeah. Technically, she's not seal. She just, it's just luck. It's just luck. Yeah. Someone, yeah. someone lose, someone find. Someone's <laughs> unfortunate becomes someone's luck. Yeah. <laughs> Next up we went to in Borokai is a seafood market called Biha. But the reason why we were there is because there are fire shows every night. And if you order from any of these restaurants, they will help set up a front row seat for you. If you're in Borokai, then you must try Jonas Fruit Shake. The shakes from here are absolutely amazing and even the straws are edible. Unfortunately, the seafood was a little bit overcooked, but the fire dance saved the night. We were super impressed by it, so here are some highlights from the show. <laughs>